what's going on in the Rouge Collection? This your man, man, QP. And it's an honor to be here today with a very special guest. As you guys can see, I'm sitting here with the female hustler, Miss Juanita DeQuil, better known as Miss Nita. How you doing, Nita? I'm fine, and you? I'm doing pretty good. Now, I know people may be wondering, why do you call her a hustler? Because, ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what she is. She has a lot going on, and with this interview today, we're going to sit down with her and talk about everything that she has going on and get to know Miss Nita a little bit. It's okay if I call you Nita? Yeah. We'll get to know Miss Nita a little bit, and we're going to find out what's been up and what's going on with her. All right, now, Nita, you know, once, once again, thank you for taking time and sitting down with the Roots Collection. I truly appreciate this, you know, because I know you're a very busy person. Now, you know, for the people out there who may have heard your name, you know, just let them know a little bit about you, where you're from, you know, just a little bit about you. Okay, well, my name is Juanita DeQuir, but everybody calls me Nita. I'm born and raised here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay. Um, I'm a full-time mother. Right. Um, I work hard. Um, I also have a book that's coming out. It's right. in production. Um, as you can see, I have the only copy. Oh, exclusive. Um, it's called When the Music Stops. Um, I have a makeup line also. Uh -huh. I'm having a beat and greet on April 5th uh -huh. at Fire Styles Hair Studios. From three to six, you can purchase makeup there and try it on. Oh, that's what's up. Mm -hmm. All right, now um, let's just take a little break down to everything you just talked about. You know, I know you specified about your book, but I see you looking real nice with your hair done and your makeup. So let's let's talk a little bit about your makeup now. Okay. You know, tell them a little bit, I think, uh, what's the name of it is? Blue, Blue Roses. Blue Roses, yes. I, I read your bio, I paid attention, I did my <laughs> homework. So the name of her cosmetic line is Blue Roses. You take a little time to tell everybody how that came about. Okay, Blue Roses came about because um, I chose the lipstick uh -huh. and it was um, a violet color. And the name of it was Blue Roses, okay. and I actually liked the name, right. so I decided to name the cosmetic line Blue Roses. Okay. Um, I have eyeshadow, um, blush, and lipstick. Um, I'm thinking about the foundation, mm -hmm. but I haven't really made up my mind yet. Mm -hmm. But I have three makeup artists um, on the April fifth to give you samples, and you know you can try it on to see if you like it, and you can purchase it also that day. All right, that's great. So all you ladies out there who want to get that hook up with the cosmetics, you need to go ahead on over there and check that out and support this young lady because she's a black woman doing business. So that's what we need in our community. So I wish you the best with that. Now, um, one of the other things I want to talk about, you know, you have the solo copy, When the Music Stops. Right. When the Music Stops. Right, and I know we can't talk about that because the business of that book is to sell it. You know, we don't want to go into detail and talk right. about the book. But I just, you know, from just being a normal person and going into writing, you know, how was that transition? Um, it was something that was new to mm -hmm. me. Um, I never written a book before. Right. So I had a story, a very interesting story. So, you know, I just wanted the world, you know, to let people know the real side of me that right. I'm just not a celebrity or mm -hmm. some people may, you know, think different of me. I'm an average person, a normal person that lives a normal life just like any other person. Right. So basically, I just wanted people to get to know me. That's what's up. That's a good thing. So once the book debut, we want everybody to check it out. It's not just for females. Fellas, y'all go check it out. It's for everybody to read. Once again, that's another business venture that she has. So we definitely need to support this young black entrepreneur. Now, um, moving on, I want to talk about, you know, I see that, you know, I follow you on Instagram, you know. You know, everybody does, you know. Right. You know but I noticed that, you know, you're real big on family. and. Um, you have three children from what I understand, right? Yeah. Yeah, Aviana, Ivy Ray, and MJ. Right. I, I, I'm telling you, I did my homework, man. I did my homework. Now, I want to tell you a little story. Um, I was at a football game, like, about two years ago. And they had this little girl, a little dude, and another lady sitting behind me. And this little girl just kept rapping. I'm like, man, this little girl, nice. And you know, but they were sitting behind me, so I didn't want to just keep looking back. Like, So I just keep hearing her, and I keep hearing her, and I'm listening to her. And eventually, I turn around and I noticed that was your daughter. Mm -hmm. She got some skills, man. Yeah. How long she she's been rapping? She's very talented. Um, she's been rapping since she's been about eight. Okay. Um, she watched her father do it a lot, so she's very talented. Um, yes. Have a lot of skills. Basically, I'm not stepping on anybody's toes, but 
she's better than some of these male rappers that's out here today. Warning shots. Warning shots. <laughs> she shots y'all better look out. You watch out for Aviana Hatch. Right. Now, um, I listened to some of her music, and um, two songs I heard was Mama, I Love You. I saw, I listened to that, and I watched the video, and I'm, and I'm like, man, you know, she write on raps? Yeah. My goodness. Everybody out there, go check that song out on YouTube, Aviana, Mama, I Love You. Listen to her lyrics. It gets no realer than that, and that's a very good song because you can tell she's very sincere with her lyrics. And I heard the song that she made about her dad, it's a superhero. Right. Yeah, I heard, I heard that too, and so, you know, she's very talented, so congratulations for having a talented daughter in the music Thank business. Thank you. And, I, and, you know, I can notice the potential, and I know she's going to do great once she really gets all the way out there and gets her due. Now, um, I know you got a lot going on. I know you're a very busy person, but... You know, aside from your makeup line and your book, can you just give us a little heads up on other things that you may have um, coming soon? Yeah, I'm uh, working on a jewelry line. Okay. So that'll be coming soon. Um, a full-time mother. Right. Um, and there's other things that I'm working on also. Um, you can't tell so, us everything. Yeah, can't you're right. Can't tell us just stay everything. tuned and, you know, you'll be surprised. Okay. Now, um... <laughs> I heard you say that you're a full-time mother, and I know that you want to be a positive influence to young girls coming up. To the young girl that admires you and your accomplishments, and she's watching this right now, and she wants to at least get any positive advice that she could, what advice do you give to that young lady? Um, to stay in school, um, be independent. Um, education takes you a long way. Mm -hmm. um, keep little boys out your ear. Um, do right, listen to your parents. Just like my daughter said, you know, education is the key. Um, being respectful, obeying your parents, that's the main thing. Right, right. So you young ladies, take that advice because, you know, this is proof that you can be something great. Because as you see, she got a lot going on. And she's from Baton Rouge, just like a lot of you that are probably watching this interview. Now, I, once again, appreciate the time. But before I let you get out of here, here at the Rouge Collection, we have this thing that we always do before we finish our interviews. If you can look into that camera mm -hmm. and tell everybody one thing that in your interview, what would it be? Um, that I'm a very happy person. I'm proud of myself. Um, I'm independent now. I don't depend on anyone but myself. And I keep going first. Amen, amen. Now that's real. Everybody out there, thank y'all for tuning in, Nita. I really appreciate you thank taking you. the time to come sit down with us. I want to thank your whole team. Rouge Collection, until the next time, this is your man, man QP. Y'all have a good day.